MemeSense is a fantastic little cheat for CS2. It doesn't cost you a lot, it's very affordable, cheap, as you can get it for as little as $5 for two entire weeks. It's not a price per day or per week. For $5, you get it for two weeks. It's crazy, I know. But if you already got it, as it's easily accessible, then how do you make configs for it? Let's look into that. But if you still don't have MemeSense, you can go into the realdutsync.com website, navigate into the store, then select Counter-Strike 2, and here you have MemeSense CS2. That's where you can buy it. Now let's get back to the video. Okay guys, once you're in the game, you can press the insert button on your keyboard, and you will see exactly what I can see right now. It's the MemeSense GUI or rather its menu. Here you have the Legitbot tab. It's going to be one of the most useful features that you're going to use probably all the time. It's basically your aimbot. MemeSense is a legit-oriented cheat, so it doesn't have any rage functions. That's why I say you will probably use it all the time. Here is a master switch, so you have to enable it, otherwise nothing is going to take effect in this section. Then we have some fun choices. We can go per weapons and then select how our aimbot is going to work for every single specific weapon in CS2. However, that's time consuming as hell and you probably don't want to mess with it for that long, that much and I don't think you even need to. Then a simpler option is to do it per groups. There are a few weapon groups like pistols, SMGs, rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles and machine guns. So it's going to be much simpler, much quicker, because you have just a few categories instead of every single weapon. But I would go a step further to simplify it even more. Go here and go for all weapons. So we have just one config for every single weapon. So go ahead and enable your aimbot. Feel free to enable the draw FOV option so you know in what range of motion your aimbot is going to work. For beginners it is very useful. I would suggest rather not to enable the dynamic FOV as it's going to cause some more confusion for you. Then the FOV. If you're going to play super legit you want to bring it down to around 2 or 3 degrees in terms of meme sense. If you're going to play like semi legit feel free to have it in the 5 to 6 degree ballpark range. And if you're going to play absolutely rage and all that, then hmm, maybe buy a different cheat or crank it up to 10 degrees, why not? Then you have your smoothing, which is going to, which is going to control how smooth or human-like your aimbot is. The more you crank it up, the less your aimbot is going to correct everything for you and the slower it's going to react but the more natural it's going to look for other players. Then in the accuracy, you can feel free to enable the automatic option. It's going to do lots of stuff for you, so you do not have to mess with it and waste your time by figuring out what this option does. Target switch delay is something I would recommend increasing from the default value of zero, or rather disabled. You have to enable it if you want to look any legit, because if you kill a player and then there is a player in your FOV next to it, then your crosshair is going to jump instantly on the second player. By increasing this value, you increase the delay. So, I would consider around 250 to be human-like, around 200 or 170 to be a good sweet spot. And the minimum hit chance and damage options you can enable when your aimbot is going to correct. For legit, I would leave that at zero. RCS is something you will want to enable and set at around one. You can bring it down if you know how to control the recoil of your weapons, and you can bring it up if you know what you're doing. Here you can select the hitboxes at which your aimbot is going to aim at. I would recommend all except of flags and maybe arms as then your damage will be greatly reduced. You have some extra options like body aim, head aim, so feel free to set them at your own discretion. I will not leave any recommendations as I know some people in the comments know how to set it the way they want 
and they think that the way they want it is the way everybody wants it. But it's not! You have to have fun with this. If you want to transform this config into a rage config, then you can enable auto fire and auto wall. And there are some indicators that these options are enabled. But use it only for like legit HVH or when you want to rage cheat. Otherwise, disable both of them for sure. Here we have some ESP options. Well, MemeSense comes somehow pre-configured by default, so you just have to enable the options you want. I would recommend copying my settings, so you have lots of awareness about what's going on in the match you're playing. Then in the miscellaneous, you have some other options that you will find extremely useful. For example, auto accept match. Please, tick that box, use this option, don't be a dick. Some people love to jump in a game and then do nothing once the match starts and awaits confirmation. In the inventory you can do a very very fun thing. It has an inventory changer. You can have all skins that you want in your in-game inventory. For example, this tiger tooth. Do I own it? Nope. But when I go into my inventory, I have all the fun stuff that I didn't even pay for. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you had fun and now you know how to set up MemeSense. See you in the next one.